Well, hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have a quick and cute little video talking about a little new product from Victoria Beckham Beauty and a little trip down memory road for me. This is the brand new Victoria Beckham Beauty Instant Brightening Waterline Pencil. It is either $26 or $28, depending on whether you opt to get the little sharpener with it. So I paid 26 because I'm a cheapo and because I anyway have eye pencil and lip pencil sharpeners laying all over the place. But of course, never one when I need one, so maybe I should have gotten one. Regardless, I did not. This is in a neutral shade and it is meant only for the waterline. This is a little bit of a different pencil than we have seen uh, from Victoria Beckham Beauty in the past, her satin Kajal liners. And I am wearing the Coco one in, I tight lined with it today. I uh, generally have a smudger on one side, a different formula, and a pencil on the other. This is not for that, this is just for the waterline. Now, why did I say this is a trip down memory lane for me? Because, oh, many, many years ago, when Charlotte Tilbury first introduced her eye cheat, um, I used to use this in my waterline all the time. And as the years went on, I kind of went off of it. I'll, I'll tell you why in a moment. And it's going to be really fun to revisit it. Okay, so this is in a neutral shade. It is meant for the waterline. It can be used for any skin tone, which is really nice because it's very inclusive. It's made in the Czech Republic, which is kind of interesting. You don't see that a lot. So for all skin tones, and basically what it does is supposedly helps you, like Charlotte Tilbury called hers an eye cheat, um, it supposedly helps you look more awake and makes the whites of your eyes look brighter. And who doesn't need that? We all do. We're all running on so little sleep and none of us, or some of us don't, <laughs> don't always eat right, etc., etc. Okay, so this is a neutral shade and Victoria Beckham says she really went through a lot of trouble to get the right shade. There's a few things that she said she avoided that um, I am grateful for. I have yet to try this product and I am going to wear it today and report back on how it lasts. So don't worry about that. The Victoria Beckham uh, Satin Kajal Eyeliners work great in some shades and then kind of don't last in others. And it also depends who you are. So I'll just let you know how this works for me. Let's put it that way. Uh, Victoria Beckham says she searched for the right shade that is not too bright. And, um, you know, doesn't some, some of these, even like her bronze, if you wanted to use it that way, it would kind of fade away. Um, and then some are too pink, some are too white, and some are too clumpy. I have trouble with a lot of, it's something about the shade, but a lot of these pencils, when you use them, they'll make a little bit of uh, more of a line in the waterline than another part, and that just is glaring. The reason I stopped using, and the Charlotte one is a great one, we'll compare it in a moment. The reason I stopped using the Charlotte one is I just started seeing it too much. You know, when I would look in the mirror, that's all I saw. And with this kind of a technique, you do have to remember that you're not generally walking into a room and telling people that you have this neutral liner on. Um, if people don't know, they won't notice. But kind of once you tell yourself or others that you're wearing a neutral or whitish or pinkish um, liner in the waterline, it's kind of all you can see. So I kind of went off of it. Uh, let's see what it looks like and some of its competitors. And then I have a full face of makeup on, but nothing in the waterline. So we're going to try it and we'll compare, okay? All right, so here is the new Victoria Beckham liner. And it is blending in with my hand a little bit there. I hope the camera is picking that up. Let's compare it to the famous uh, Charlotte Tilbury one that I had always used so happily. So Charlotte's is a little bit brighter and a little bit peachier. We have Victoria Beckham's right here. I hope the camera's picking this up. And Charlotte's is a little bit peachier and a little bit brighter. Um, there's some others on the market that I really like. Um, Melt has some beautiful ones. So Melt has a um, ivory and an apricot cream. But the problem with the ivory, here's the Melt ivory, which is very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury. And the Melt apricot cream, my problem with them is simply that they don't last. Um, and the Melt Apricot Cream is very similar in shade to the new Victoria Beckham product. Um, they don't last on me. So what good is something in the waterline if it's gone in three minutes or so? I mean, you know, there's a lot of other ones out there. I have one here. This is kind of a, a pink leaning shade from, um, from, let's see, Sigma. 
That's way too pink and bright, I think. A lot of people make them. Makeup Forever has one that I just brought out in kind of a neutral shade that's meant for that. It's a little too hard, I think, and a little too chalky. I mean, but there's all sorts of things. I, I found in my collection a um, Trish uh, McAvoy that's just a brightener that you could use under here and in the waterline and even in the corner. That's kind of a multi-purpose one. But really, to me, the one that Victoria Beckham is going to go up against truly the real queen of the, the scene is the Charlotte Tilbury Eye Cheat. And those are the two swatches right here. So we have Victoria Beckham almost taking a little bit of a beige and the Charlotte being a little bit more apricot. So let's give it a try. I have makeup on, I, a very little. I have, here's my mirror, sorry about that, in front of your face. I have um, some of the new Starlight uh, Lid Luster from Victoria Beckham, and I do have, as I told you, her Coco uh, Satin Kajal Liner simply in um, to tight line. I don't have anything in my waterline. Let's just do this eye, and let's see what we think for comparison, shall we? Okay, so the question to me is, does it clump? Does it make a slip? To me, that's the worst, because then you really are telling people that it's there. This, by the way, is a traditional, as her satin Kajal liners are, this is a traditional sharpening pencil. Okay, let's just, pardon me, pulling on my eyelid. I'll be very gentle, I promise. Oh, it's, you know what's nice about it? It's not as soft as, say, Charlotte's, but it's not as hard as the, um, the Makeup Forever that I showed you. Let's put a little bit more in. You guys, this is really pretty. Okay. So let me get this mirror out of the way. I have put the new Victoria Beckham uh, brightener, waterline brightener in this eye and not in this one. Do I look more awake? It's an honest question. It's in this eye and not in this one. What do you think? Let me take a peek. Oh, I definitely think it looks brighter and more awake. And I'll tell you something. I know it's there. You know it's there. Are you seeing it? You're seeing it. But is it all you're seeing? Sometimes with these, they get a little soft and they make too big of a mark in the waterline and it's all you see, or I feel like it's all you see. Let's do the other eye. Oh, I think it, you guys, I'm kind of liking it. I might, <laughs> I'm using the wrong side. I might go back to this. The question becomes, and I like it, it doesn't slip. It's kind of waxy, but kind of, but smooth. And this eye is watering and it's still going on beautifully. All right, well, now we have both eyes done. And the question becomes, how will it wear and how will it last? By the time I get to editing this, it's the morning, by the time I get to editing this, I will wear it all day and I will let you know right here, check it out. I will let you know how long I wore it and how long it lasted. So my question to you, the community is, was this a look you've ever been interested in? I have heard through uh, my time here on YouTube, so many of you say, oh, no, I can't stand it. It's just too obvious. So here's my question. How does this one look in terms of the looks that you've seen? How does it compare in your mind with your experience? You've probably, if you're really into makeup and you wouldn't be here if you weren't, you've probably tried the Charlotte Tilbury Eye Cheat maybe. So how do you think it compares what are your thoughts? I'm super interested to know, princesses. So share that with me. I am going to try this in the next few videos. So you will be seeing this look on me as I stare in the viewfinder. And I'm very, very curious about your thoughts on it. So leave those comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel so that I can see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.